Well, Speaker, congratulations on your new position. Let me start by asking, do you, like your colleagues in the Senate, view these confirmation hearings as anything more than a formality? Tom Kirkman is our president because he wasn't at the State of the Union. Peter McLeish is a hero because he lived through it. Certainly, survival shouldn't be the only qualification when it comes to leading our country, should it? She's intimidated by you. She's done everything from Megyn Kelly to Jimmy Kimmel. Intimidated isn't the word that comes to mind. 162 independents in the new house. How can she read that as anything other than America's endorsement of their first independent president? Trust me, she'll find a way. Madam Speaker, what do you hope to learn from Congressman McLeish's testimony? Has she done any irrevocable damage to our nominee this morning? No, just continuing her never-ending quest to cast doubt on his qualifications. She'd be better off taking a cue from the Senate. They made it perfectly clear no one wants to play politics with this confirmation. Wish I saw her face when the vote came back unanimous. Do you think steam can actually come out of someone's ears? You remembered my order. Double Americano, three pumps of vanilla, one pump caramel. It's too ridiculous to forget. Hey, why are you guys so calm? Don't you check your email? In the last 45 seconds, why? A security breach. All right, let's get the NSA director on the phone. I want the full story before we notify the president. Let's go. Hey. hey. They've been digging through Atwood's office all morning. You know what's going on? It's an internal review. Why is Atwood being investigated? How do you know that's what's happening? Because here comes the director of internal affairs, John Forstell. He's Wolf. Hi. A word? His name is Gabriel Thompson. He worked as a systems analyst for the National Security Agency for the last 20 years. And yesterday, he just walked out the front door with a ton of classified information. Which this morning, the NSA is calling a significant breach. How significant? Well, the prototype hard drive Thompson took is capable of storing terabytes of files. NSA estimates it'll take days to comb through the system and assess the stolen data. Luckily, the press hasn't gotten wind of that. It'll only a matter of time before that happens. Agreed. What do we know about this, Thompson? I mean, is this espionage? Is a foreign government involved? Oh, it's uncertain, sir. NSA's throwing all their resources into tracking him down, and Whitaker promised to brief you as soon as he knows more. We need to get ahead of this now. It's nice to see you, Agent Wells. It's been a while. Well, John, in your line of work, that's generally considered a good thing. <laughs> Look, I know that you are close with Jason Atwood, but it's a friendship that could cause problems for you. Why? Am I under investigation, too? Come on. You're smart enough to know that you're wrapped up in this. You were with Jason at the prison when Nazar was murdered. You were there with him during the interrogation. What is the point of this? You of all people know that Jason's not a murderer. Well, I can't exactly ignore a confession. <sighs> if this was so cut and dry, why are you doing an investigation at all? All right, I'll bite. If Jason Atwood didn't kill Majid Nazar, who did? You're not doing yourself any favors, Hannah. And I know you'd rather answer my questions than a federal prosecutor's. Wow. We used to be on the same side. Yeah, and we still would be if you and Jason had ever learned how to play by the rules, like I warned you two years ago. Instead, here we are. Oh, and Hannah, I'm paying Jason a visit this afternoon. Your stories better match. Hello. Hey, Chuck. I think you can get the Peter Brinkley vetting files out of the RMD and meet me at my house in 20 minutes? Yes. But, Hannah, what the hell's going on? I'll explain when you get there. 